This is the first meeting specifically dedicated to studies of viral populations, which is an exceptionally cool subject. Multiplying out by the volume of the oceans, there's something like 10 to the 31 virus-like particles on Earth, which is far more than the number of stars in the universe. And numerically, they're the most successful biological entities by far. There's already a wide range of diseases that are associated with the virome. And so some examples are, again, HIV, AIDS, um, inflammatory bowel disease, graft versus host disease. And I think without a doubt, as more and more virome studies are done, there will be more associations that are identified. The new lineage we just found, Redondo viruses, a new family of human viruses are associated with disease states, but we don't know what's cause and what's effect. There are a lot of viruses out there that are either mutualistic or either not causing any negative symptoms or might be um, might change their interactions with the hosts under different conditions. So for example, there are some viruses in plants that can uh, confer drought resistance, other potential qualities that would help them survive changing conditions. Well, it's been suggested that some of these viruses might be biomarkers. It's important for transplant surgeons, people caring for these people, to suppress their immune system to the right degree. Mm. Maybe if you're measuring viruses coming up, maybe that's telling you, maybe that's a thermometer for how much you suppress the immune system. Generally, a an integral part of every healthy ecosystem. And so viruses are very important for carbon and nutrient cycling, for maintaining a balance between organisms, for, um, for selecting for different hosts and kind of maintaining diversity in the environment. A lot of times you can have things that are commensal under certain conditions that can become pathogenic under other conditions. And so we really need to consider what's there under all sorts of conditions and then how the host immune system is dealing with or not dealing with those viruses under a given maybe set of stress conditions. Bacteriophages, bacterial viruses, move sequences between bacteria. So uh, everything about gene flow and bacteria, which clearly is important clinically for things like antibiotic resistance, mm. uh, transmission of uh, pathogenicity islands, stuff like that, is in part mediated by bacteriophage. And so that too is another angle on the field and that will be discussed at some length in the meeting. We need to bring together people who have the different expertise in all these areas to try to really push this field forward. I think we're merging a lot of very disparate fields. So we're bringing together people who tend to study human viruses with people who study in marine viruses or plant viruses or all these different systems. We're also kind of merging the, um, the phage biology field, which tends to be separate um, from many other aspects of, of health and disease. Um, I think we're trying also to bring together people who are interested in new technologies and techniques like phage therapy um, and applying those in human systems, as well as people who are doing kind of large cohort studies to understand which viruses correlate with various health and disease states. We'll also have um, some computational biologists. And so I think one of the places that the field often gets stuck is at this barrier between dealing with these mountains of sequence data and performing experiments in the lab or in the field. And so hopefully we'll learn new techniques that people are using uh, for doing that. And really I think start to see the connections and the interactions between all these different facets of the virome. I think we have a great diversity of speakers from different areas and different parts of the world different topics, and, and I'm super excited about this conference. I don't really know of any other conferences like this, which is why I'm so excited to be a part of it. It's going to really bring together people that don't normally interact, um, that are probably stumbling onto the same things in multiple different systems. And I think by leveraging that knowledge together, just by literally having these people kind of in the same conference center for a week, I think we're going to make a lot of advances and learn things about how to attack these problems from a more multidimensional focus.